Hi everyone and welcome to PsyQ. So we covered the last Democratic debate and in particular we covered one thing that Bernie Sanders mentioned, linking terrorism to climate change. Here's what he said. Previous debate you said the greatest threat to national security was climate change. Do you still believe that? Absolutely. In fact, climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. So since you made that statement, a lot of people online have been questioning whether we can directly link terrorism to climate change. Now, of course you can like theoretically link the two. Obviously, if there's climate change, you're going to have more instability in the weather, which leads to less stability of agriculture and crops, which leads to general instability, and sometimes that might spurn terrorism. But is that a generic link, or is that something that's very specific and has already happened in the world? Well, let's take a look at Syria. In 2006, an unprecedented drought hit the region where Syria is located. Now, and it wasn't just one year, it was multiple years of drought. And that meant that water supply that is in Syria disappeared over a course of about four years. Now, that's a huge amount of water. They say it's about the size of the Dead Sea. All that water disappearing under the region is going to lead to problems. In Syria's case, catastrophic crop failure. So Syria went from being a region where a lot of food is grown and distributed and exported to an area where they had to import food just to feed the local population. So what are the consequences of that? Well, the drought led to farmers abandoning their farms and flooding the cities. Now, the cities in Syria were already stretched. The resources were struggling to keep up with the influx of refugees that had come in the past years from Iraq and Iran. So you've got overwhelmed cities, you've got students out of school, you've got people sitting around with nothing to do, starving, not having any sort of income, and getting increasingly angry at the government. The Syrian government, Assad, basically ignored this looming humanitarian crisis and understandably this led to increased anger on the ground and sparked the rise of the rebels and the 2011 Syrian civil war. That in turn led to an opportunity for ISIS to establish a foothold and grow and rise in that region. So here we have a drought possibly caused by climate change turning into instability, which in turn leads to situations that can give rise to terrorism. Now, this is not necessarily a direct link. We can't actually prove that the drought was caused by climate change, and we can't prove that it was the drought itself that caused the rise of terrorism. And this isn't even the first time or the first region in the world where instability caused by climate change has possibly led to terrorism. Barack Obama said in May 2015 that climate change did not cause the conflicts we see around the world, yet what we also know is that severe drought helped to create the instability in Nigeria that was exploited by the terrorist group Boko Haram. And we all know how that ended. In 2014, a report by the US Department of Defense called climate change not a cause of terrorism, but a threat multiplier. It basically magnifies any existing instability or resentment harbored by the population and leads to increased instability. So the question now shouldn't be, has climate change directly caused terrorism? But we should be thinking about what are the impacts of climate change as it gets more severe as we go on into the future. The drought in Syria is not going to be the last time we see weather patterns that are changed because of climate change. And as the planet warms further and the weather continues to change, I wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this climate change induced instability and terrorism springing out of that. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.